Pope Francis has long been famous for his liberal papacy. For his supporters, he has been a much-needed change for the church. Pope Francis has painted a more welcoming picture of Catholicism. His statements regarding controversial matters such as abortion and homosexuality have made his leadership successful among his followers. But they haven't gone down too well with the conservatives of the church. Conservative Catholic voices have criticized the Pope's approach and methods. And amid evidence of a growing rebellion against his liberal papacy, the Pope summoned a conservative ally of his predecessor, Pope Benedict. And this was to the Vatican. Archbishop George Gangsween is the former secretary to Pope Benedict and the meeting comes only four days after he was laid to rest. This week, Gansween is publishing a book titled Nothing But The Truth, My Life Beside Benedict XVI, in which he has made some big claims. The former papal prefect has described his ouster by Pope Francis in 2020. He writes, Pope Francis told him not to come back to work tomorrow. He has also claimed that Pope Francis's decision was disapproved by Pope Benedict. Apart from that, the book also includes Pope Benedict's alleged disagreements with Pope Francis. It says the conflicts were about Pope Francis's liberal ways. The Argentinian Pope had restricted traditional Latin mass. His move was aimed at fighting divisiveness and was caused by inappropriate use of the mass. But the decision was criticized by conservative Catholics. Ganswin said that Pope Francis's restrictions had broken the heart of Benedict. Many Catholics who attended the traditional Latin Mass worried that Pope Francis did not understand them. Pope Benedict also disapproved of Pope Francis's views on abortion and of course the LGBTQ community. Ganswin's publication comes at a peculiar time. It has prompted interesting accusations that he aspires to become a champion for conservative Catholics. Those who loathe Pope Francis's liberal-leaning papacy and who disapprove the Latin mass restrictions. Even though Pope Benedict wasn't a fan of Pope Francis, he discouraged open opposition to him. But after his death, analysts suspect that Pope Francis's haters may now become more determined. In line with standard practice, the details of the meeting between Pope Francis and Ganswin haven't been disclosed by the Vatican press office yet. But experts are speculating that the Pope summoned him to offer an olive branch. The Pope might reason that he needs to give Ganswin a new job to stop him from going rogue. In his Sunday address, the Pope denounced gossip. He has called it a lethal weapon. This is being seen as an attack on Ganswin's book. Although Pope Francis has been criticizing gossip regularly for years, his meeting with a conservative ally has raised eyebrows, especially when there has been evidence of criticism surrounding his papacy. So did the Pope, Pope Francis, offer Ganswin another chance or did he give him a week to pack up and leave the Vatican? Nobody knows. But many are asking, is there a rebellion against Pope Francis? His papacy has been accused of straying from the church's objective moral standards and has raised questions about the future. Is the disapproval finally bubbling over? Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.